Hello guys, this video is to show you how to clear the XBMC cache on your iPad. I haven't had a problem with it yet, um, but that's probably because I don't use it as often as I use it on the computer. But when you're watching videos, sometimes on IBX or One Channel or Ice Films, you'll get a cache full error message up here, and then your video starts stuttering and slowing down, or just might crash. I was looking for it all over the systems here. Um, I found a, a link online that said go under systems, file manager, and then go to database right here, but I don't have that folder here. So I can't open something that's not here. What I was able to find was in file manager or in iFile, if you go to iFile, you go to home, library, you'll see here that you have a cache, cache uh, folder. And then you go down, and you'll find the xbmc.org.xbmc.xbmc.ios. This is a cache. I wouldn't delete any of this because I've been monitoring this, and it looks like this automatically updates every day. So as you can see, it only has today's uh, documents, one from this morning and one from now, uh, or just a couple of minutes ago. So as you can see, I wouldn't touch those uh, so that you don't cause error messages on your system. Then I scrolled down and what I found was, if you go down to preferences, you can go to XBMC, and here you can find the temporary files, there's nothing in there, but if there was stuff in there, you could delete those. Weather has a lot of the PNG files, so you, as you can see, everything here is from today, so this looks like it automatically clears and updates, right? Then we can go right back out and go to user data. And here's where I found stuff that's actually really old and I'm probably going to start deleting a bunch of it. So let's say we go to zero. I have stuff here from July, a bunch of JPEG and PNG files that I definitely do not need. And if the system needs to re-download them, then I'll let it do that. But I definitely don't need all this stuff in here. As you can see, all this stuff, a lot of this stuff is pretty old. Let's go to another folder. Let's see what we got in here. So as you can see, there's just a bunch of PNG files that I would definitely delete and let the system re-download only what it needs. If you ever do get a system error on, on it, this is pretty much probably where you would have to go to kind of clear it out. See, I don't have anything in music because I don't listen to music on XPMC. But this is pretty much where all those extra files are going and they're not being automatically cleared. And here we go. 9.5. So all this stuff right here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of it. Let's see what we got here. So you can pretty much go ahead and um, let's go down to, you just click edit and you can just select all of them. You can probably just delete the whole folder. I'm not going to delete it because I don't know if the system will be looking for these folders that it already created. So I'm just going to delete the files inside of it. And there you go. That's pretty much it for clearing the cache on the XBMC on the iPad. I'm still looking for these folders on the computer to see because um, that's usually where I get my issues because I use it there the most. Uh, as soon as they have a jailbreak for the Apple TV 3, I'm probably going to be using that more. So, alright. There you go. Move them to the trash. And then we're going to empty trash. And I just freed up some space on my XBMC. Alright, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you clear the cache on your XBMC platform on your iPad. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.